sporting fans, good evening. Grenada SDA Comprehensive School clinched the championship title. In the final of the Independent Secondary Schools Cricket Tournament, solidifying their reputation as a powerhouse in school cricket, facing off against formidable opponents, St. Andrew's Anglican Secondary School, Grenada SDA Comprehensive School delivered a masterful performance on the field, showcasing their prowess with both bat and ball. SAS took to the crease first, setting a challenging target of 188 runs for the loss of three wickets within the allotted 25 overs. With precision and skill, Grenada SDA Comprehensive School's batting lineup showcased their resilience and determination as they steadily approached the target. In a remarkable display of teamwork and strategy, they reached the required total of 189 runs for the loss of two wickets, securing a well-deserved victory and clinching the championship title. Troy George, the junior coach in the Ministry of Sports, noted the many outstanding performances in the tournament, highlighting the exceptional players who made significant contributions to their team's success. Most outstanding wicketkeeper, Rakeem Charles, the presentation boys college. Most wickets, 11 by Kivante Bartholomew. Man of the match of the final, Kavon Bartholomew. And most runs scored, 490 runs coming out, not out on each inning, uh, Kavon Bartholomew. Grenada SDA Comprehensive School's victory not only brings pride to this school, but also serves as inspiration for aspiring cricketers across the nation. The Classic Lighting Caribbean National Netball Tournament resumed its action-packed schedule on Thursday. In the first game of the day, it was an intense showdown between Police Sports Club and Top Strikers B Team. The Top Strikers girls demonstrated their dominance, securing an impressive victory. Despite a valiant effort from the Police Sports Club, Top Strikers maintained their stronghold, ultimately clinching the victory with the final score 36-10. In the second game, featuring the same teams, but in the A division, the competition remained fierce. You see, the first quarter saw a close battle with Police Sports Club edging ahead with eight goals to seven. However, the top strikers' ladies eventually emerged victorious with the final score 40 goals to 27. As anticipation mounts for the upcoming weekend matches, fans can look forward to more electrifying action on Saturday, SGU Blue Dynamites will face Jet Setters Sports Club B Division and Jet Setters Sports Club Male Division will take on Sprang Queen Spark Rangers. All right, finally in the sports news, over the course of two days, 40 local referees underwent intensive training and development at the Grenada Football Association Secretariat. The workshop, facilitated by renowned expert Enrique Osis, Director of Refereeing at the Mexico FA, is aimed at sharpening the skills and knowledge of the referees, ensuring they are equipped to handle the demands of high-level competition. Among the participants were referee assessors who played a crucial role in the training sessions. The sessions were structured to provide practical insights and hands-on experience, allowing referees to refine their techniques and approaches on the field. The GFA said the successful conclusion of the two-day workshop reflects its ongoing commitment to invest in the development of local referees and enhance the quality of officials officiating in the country. Sports News for now.